In the history of colonial rule in India, Denmark is rarely talked about. Very few Indians and Danes know that Denmark once had a footprint in India. Between the years of 1620 to 1845, Denmark had a small trading post in the Indian state of Tamil Nadu. This was in the town of Tarangambar. The Danish East India Company was the trading arm of Denmark's monarchy. It was chartered under King Christian IV and the company's focus was to increase trade with India. After landing on the Indian mainland, the Danish East India Company signed a treaty with Tanjore's ruler Raghunath Nayak. The Danes were given a beautiful bungalow in Tarangambadi for their stay. It also acted as their trading office and courthouse. Right next to it, the Danish East India Company built a fort facing the sea. On its completion, it was named Dansberg and it housed the first Danish inhabitants. Very soon, Tarangambadi became a Danish hotspot. Areas around the Dansberg fort saw European-styled houses and schools. Needless to say, it was buzzing with Europeans. At least 10% of the town was made up of Danish people. And because Tarangambadi was a tongue twister, they renamed it to Trankabar. But everything changed by the early 1800s. Denmark was unable to run its colonial empire in India. In 1840, they sold their Trankabar outpost to the British. The deal cost England $15,000 and the British monarchy changed the courthouse into the governor's official residence. Fast forward to the 21st century. To preserve the colonial legacy, some measures were taken. In 2002, the Danish Trankbar Association was founded. It was tasked with reviving the colonial trademarks. And that's just what it did. What was once a colonial courthouse and bungalow on the beach is now a charming hotel. The guest house has eight rooms each named after a member of Denmark's royal family. Right next to the hotel is the Danish fort. Dansberg is still in good shape and has become a popular tourist spot. Denmark's colonial chapter in India was brief yet rich. Trankabar has been declared a heritage town in India's Tamil Nadu and Denmark's imprint has made it a popular tourist spot. Buildings that were once made by the Danish East India Company have been turned around. Some of them include a new maritime museum and a library. Clearly, Tarangambadi, or what the Danes used to call Trankabar, is an attraction that will mesmerize any history buff.